So this week we are continuing our work with <clears throat> multiplying polynomials. Uh, this week's work is out of 7-3 in our textbook, Multiplying Special Cases. You're going to need your notebook and we're going to take some notes. So if you don't have it, pause the video right now and go grab it. I need you to go to our unit we glued in that last crazy day together. Find this page that we worked on last week, Box Method for Multiplying Polynomials. Um, I will post pictures later of the inside of mine so you can check your work. But today we're going to do a little bit of note taking on the back of that page. And I would like you to title it <clears throat> Multiplying Polynomials. special cases. So there are two specific kinds of special cases. Um, we have what's called square of a binomial. And algebraically, that comes in looking like a plus b squared. It could also be a minus b when we're dealing with actual things. But basically the idea here is that what we have inside of the parentheses is what gets squared. So I stick to the box method. It is my favorite way. You can FOIL if you want, but I would highly encourage you to do it this way to avoid losing pieces. If I take a plus b equals a plus b squared, the mistake I often see is people just saying a squared plus b squared. They take that square and they share it with those two instead of actually taking the binomial and multiplying it by itself. That's what's happening up here. So this is not true. What we're going to put in here is true. a times a is going to be a squared. a times b is going to be a b. We have another a b here and a b squared. What we have here are like terms. So what we find is a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab, 1ab, 2 plus b squared. So what I'd like us to do with that is try that with some numbers. I'm taking this from our Do You Know section on page 278 in the book. And we're going to do a couple of different problems. So here's some examples. The first example we're going to do is x minus 7 squared. We're going to rewrite it down here with our box and do x minus 7 times x minus 7. Because what we're doing here is we're saying if x minus 7 is squared, then we're going to pull that apart and say x minus 7 times x minus 7. We get x squared, negative 7x, negative 7x. Notice the pattern here. The same thing happened up here. And then we get a positive 49. So the answer to this, when I combine my like terms in the center, is x squared minus 14x plus 49. Let's do one more example of 2x plus 5 squared. That is equal to 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5. I'm going to show that in my box. I get 4x squared, 10x, 
10x, notice that pattern again, and 25. When I combine my like terms, I get 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. Okay, so that is multiplying special cases when we have square of a binomial. Let's turn to the back of our factoring polynomials. We will come back to these later. And we're going to do, we're going to take that title, multiply in special cases, and repeat it. Continued. And this time we're going to do what's called sum and a difference. What that looks like algebraically is a plus b times a minus b. And there is also a pattern that starts to develop here. Let's show the algebraic version. I'm going to do my a plus b here and my a minus b here. And let's see what happened. So we get a squared minus ab plus ab minus b squared. And notice what happens in the middle here when I combine these like terms. Negative ab and positive ab are zero. So when this gets rewritten, it's a squared minus b squared. And again, let's try that with a couple of examples. We're going to do x plus 4 times x minus 4. And let's set up our second example here. 3y minus 5 times 3y plus 5. set up our box. So I have x plus 4, x minus 4. I get x squared, negative 4x, 4x, and negative 16. Same thing happens here that we saw happen up above with our just algebraic version negative 4x and 4x0 out, so we're left with only x squared and negative 16. Let's try one more example and see if we see that same pattern happening. 3y minus 5, 3y plus 5, I get 9y squared, 15y, negative 15y, negative 25. So we end up with 9y squared minus 25. So you'll see that pattern repeat as you guys do some practice on this. If I have the same terms with one positive and one negative, my center term, my like terms are going to zero out and I end up with a squared term in the front that's positive and a squared term in the back that's negative with no variables. Okay, we're gonna do some just old school textbook work. I will post pictures of this um, in a Google document on Google Classroom as well, but if you wanna get out your textbook or look this up online at um, our Envision website, we're on page 279, and I want you guys to work on numbers 16 through 21, that's six problems, and numbers 28 to 31. And when you look at those, you will see I've left off the decimals and the fractions, and you guys can thank me later. Um, 
that is the work that I really want you to engage in by Wednesday. So if you've got questions, um, you can bring them to our class meeting and we'll see if we can move forward from there.